Hi everyone, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I have got a serious girl talk plan for you guys. I asked a while ago if you guys wanted to have a girl talk video and so many of you guys said yes and I got so many questions and in particular I got a lot of questions about periods and things to do with that. So for this video I'm collaborating with Tampax to basically answer loads of your guys' questions that I get asked on a regular basis and especially for a girl talk video I didn't think that this collaboration could be any more perfect. What I've done is I have picked out a few questions that basically I'm just going to answer for you guys so I hope that if you guys have any questions to do with periods and basically using tampons and things like that this video can be your little guide and you can always come back to it if you ever forget any of the answers and I can answer most of your questions because I really love that on my channel it can be like family a whole community where we can just talk about you know normal things if this video isn't for you then that is completely fine but I feel like periods and things to do with sanitary products is such like a taboo topic and it really doesn't need to be so that is why I'm so for doing this video so yeah if you guys want to watch it then enjoy So applicators are basically what you use to insert the tampon to make sure that it's sitting correctly and we're going to be speaking about the Tampax Compact Pearls. So as you guys can see these ones are really really small and discreet and basically all you have to do is pull it until it clicks and then you're ready to go. Obviously you can use non-applicator ones or you can also use cardboard applicators. I think it really just comes down to personal preference though. Tampax actually speaks to their consumers. The majority of people do prefer a plastic applicator but as I said I think it just comes down to personal preference. So when you're using the tampon, the bit that stays inside of you is actually the white thing on the inside. So this is the thing that, you know, goes inside. And just to take it out, you just put on the string, which is honestly, guys, it's not going to rip. Don't worry about that. Also, you shouldn't be able to feel a tampon inside of you. So you can just go about your day and not have to worry about anything. I feel like this is something that so many people get scared of and it's losing a tampon inside of you but please when I tell you you cannot lose one inside of you I truly truly mean that honestly it cannot go anywhere and also the string is sewn into the core of the actual tampon so there's no way that this is like gonna rip off and you'll lose it honestly there's no need to panic because it will all be okay Tampons are ideal if you guys want to go swimming. They are so perfect for holiday because what Tampax tampons do is they actually expand to your unique shape. So basically, you won't get any leakage at all. So as I said, they are absolutely perfect to go on holiday with, to go swimming with. Tampax tampons really have you covered. Tampons shouldn't be uncomfortable. In fact, you shouldn't be able to feel them at all. If you can feel a tampon, then it probably just means that it's not far enough inside of you. But this is where the applicator comes in. I'm going to try and explain this a little bit better. So say this is where you insert it to and then obviously you push it. That way the tampon will be sitting in the perfect spot. You can wear a tampon for up to eight hours, but everyone is obviously different. Everyone has different flow, so the timing really depends on you as a person. For example, if you're someone with a heavier flow, then you'll probably have to change more often. But always try to go for the lowest absorbency for your flow. And there's nothing that stops you from changing your absorbency during your period. Obviously, at some parts, you're going to be heavier than others. If you try to remove a tampon whilst it's dry, obviously it's going to cause some discomfort. So try to, you know, ride it out for, you know, as long as what you need to. Like, for example, if you just go to the gym for 45 minutes, then you haven't given it enough time to do its job. Choosing whether you should use pads or tampons is honestly just down to personal choice. I know a lot of people who prefer pads, but I know people who prefer tampons. Personally for me, I prefer using tampons purely because I feel like I can just forget about my period and just go about my normal day. They're great for like summer when you want to go out and do loads of active things, but there's nothing worse than feeling like you're on your period if you get what I mean. <laughs> TSS is a very serious yet very rare disease caused by bacteria. It can occur in men, women, children and also in a lot of different situations. But for a little bit of peace of mind, most doctors won't even see a case of TSS in their whole medical career. The best way to avoid it though is changing your tampon on a regular basis and also using the correct absorbency for your flow. Tampax Pearl and Compact Pearl actually offer unique features that will keep you guys comfortable and protected. The Leak Guard Braid and the Motion Fit technology is perfect for giving you guys all of the protection that you're going to need so you don't need to worry about leaking. 
Tampax tampons come in four different absorbencies. So they come in super, super plus, light and normal. Obviously you can change that throughout your cycle depending on if you're heavier, you'll use super and super plus. And if you're lighter, you can go for light to normal. If you use a tampon that is too low of an absorbency, then you will obviously soak through that one quicker. And then from that, you can just kind of tell which ones you should be using and which ones you shouldn't. Honestly, periods should not be that much of a big deal whilst you're in a relationship. I think as long as you can communicate with whoever you're with, especially with a boy, because they don't know what it's like to be on a period. And sometimes periods can be painful, they can stress you out. So I think as long as you can have that open communication and feel comfortable with whoever you're with to have the conversation about periods, then honestly, I think you're all good. Just communicate, communicate and communicate. I feel like this is gonna sound a lot easier said than done, but if your period is late, try not to stress because sometimes stress can actually delay your period. So normally if my period's late, I just think to myself, do you know what? Maybe I'm actually stressed in my day-to-day -day life. So let me just take a chill. Let me just relax, give myself a bit of a pamper night. Obviously if it's delayed by a long amount of time, then you probably need to go speak to a GP or someone. However, I do think it's important to try not to stress if your period's late because nine times out of 10, it won't be for any reason. For me personally, I used to suffer so bad with cramps whilst on my period. So my top two things for helping me with period pains is number one, a hot water bottle. Guys, if you don't own one and you get really bad cramps, 10 out of 10 recommend. And also obviously painkillers. They do do specific ones for cramps. If I'm honest though, I just use the normal like paracetamol and ibuprofen. And those tend to get me through the first couple of days, which are always the worst days for me. I actually have a few people that I like to talk to when I'm having any questions about my periods or things to do with that. First of all, it is my mum. I feel like obviously because she's a mum, she's been through everything and we're very much synced up in everything to do with periods. So it's nice to get some advice from someone who I know feels the same way that I do. But then also I think it's great to talk to my friends about periods because they're also going through it all at the same time. I feel like a mixture is a really good thing to have. Don't just rely on one person because so many people are so different. So guys, that is the end of this girl talk video. And I hope I've answered all of your tampon period questions. If you guys do have any more, then be sure to leave them down below in the comments and I will try my hardest to reply to you all. But I feel like we really got to the nitty gritty stuff, which is all I've ever really wanted to do. But as I said, it's seen as such a taboo topic, which it really shouldn't be. And a massive thank you to Tampax for sponsoring this video. I hope that you all did enjoy it. Leave it a massive thumbs up if you did. And obviously if you guys aren't already subscribed, then make sure you do and I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.